All right, it's May 30th, 2012, the day before the Bilderberg Conference is set to begin. Uh, we just had breakfast with the Bilderbergs. We had breakfast inside the West, uh, the Westfield Marriott Hotel. Here, here's a, you know, just, just a couple of examples of us being here. I'm going to show the pool area. We'll, we'll, we'll give you a tour of the Westfield Marriott Hotel for the Bilderberg Conference this year. The, this is the hotel they're staying at. We tried to get some footage inside. I only got a picture or two. They were kind of sticklers. They saw my camera right away and they, they weren't having it. So, um, so yeah, this is the place where Bilderberg is, 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 is going to happen. And, uh, you know, this is the little pool area. We could see Henry Kissinger do some, some laps in the pool. Kind of really don't want to go in the pool area, but just trying to show you guys around the premises. We, we, we just left inside the Westfield Marriott in Chantilly, Virginia. <laughs> I'd like to go back in uh, maybe later on in the day. We, we'll see. Um, you know, right away when we got inside, the guy saw my camera. I was able to get a picture uh, but you know, he saw my camera right away, threatened to take my camera away if he saw it again. I guess you can't take uh, footage or take photos inside. I guess that's their, their policy. But we are in Chantilly, Virginia. breakfast with another reporter so let's get his take on it all right I had breakfast with you your name where are you from all your right. outlet let's talk about our breakfast experience well, I'll, with the Bilderbergs I'll tell you what I'll just do it like my broadcast you're listening to hardcore Harry and this is death to the new world order we just had breakfast together with the uh, I don't know honestly there could have been one or two of them in there and they were dressed in civilian clothes all these people we thought were just people there for breakfast and we're sitting there, and I get out my tablet, and one of them, one of these women who's just eating breakfast in there is like, oh, he's got a camera. They're all security. Everybody in the freaking building is security. The, the, the staff, they had a cop up there with like a cloth badge. Really? I didn't even see that. You didn't see that? No. That's how, that's how I knew she was a cop from like 100 feet away. Wow. It looked like a badge, but it was in cloth on her shirt. Yeah, they knew right when we were in there. We were outsiders. I mean, yep. you're wearing your Don't Tread On Me shirt. I'm in my... Flip-flops. I'm in flip-flops. <laughs> I don't know if you can see my flip-flops. It didn't help as much. <laughs> my size 17 flip-flops. So for all you other activists out there, think ahead. Don't make these stupid mistakes that we just did. <laughs> but it was exciting. I mean, having breakfast inside of there where the elite are going to be talking about the agendas of Absolutely. the future. And I wish I was hungry because the food is whew, something else. Yeah, the buffet wasn't that bad. Decently priced at 18, 1850, right? How you doing, ma'am? Hi, ma'am. How are you? So, I don't know how many, if any, of the Bilderbergs are actually here yet, but I will tell you this. The hotel staff and is waiting for them, they're ready for them, and everybody in there that you think is a guest at the hotel right now is security. That's exactly right. Um, it was just just so interesting to, to be inside the the same hotel where the elites are going to be at. It's just, it was just very fascinating. Yeah, we were eating breakfast away from some of the main events, but just to be inside there, just to maybe get a glimpse, feel some energy inside. And I agree, uh, you know, there, there, there was a sense that, we, you know, we weren't welcomed in there. They saw our cameras, they were intimidated right away. I mean, Alex Jones is supposedly banned from this hotel. He was going to stay at this hotel. Yeah, and that's why I was like, hey, let's have breakfast here when we got here. It's Wednesday morning before those who are supposedly staying here get kicked out before the, the conference even begin. It's just so interesting. And, and any final thoughts on our breakfast with the Bilderbergs? Well, my final thought is this place is prepped. It's ready. The security's in place. They are watching for anybody who even thinks about having a camera. And they will openly alert. <gasps> There's a, he's got a camera. Yeah, so agree. they're trained, they're ready, they're waiting. There could be one guy right there. I think we should 
head on out and meet up with our... Well, I'm wondering where our co-patriots are. That's what I'm wondering. Because it looks to me like the car is gone. Yeah. All right, we are leaving the Westfield Marriott Chantilly Hotel. Uh, we didn't get this on film, but we uh, were met by the uh, security guard, she's a female, who escorted us out, somewhat escorted us out of the building. I had to go to the bathroom, kind of uh, to, you know, have a little more time inside. But then she comes out, um, what, to, to explain what, what, what just she took place. She was basically begging, to stay on she was basically begging us to leave. And I said, well, why? I mean, why are you guys freaking out about a camera? She goes, I don't know, just please leave. Yeah, Yeah, she was pleading with us. I mean, she was very nice enough to, to at least say, hey, look, you, mean, you, know, get, you guys maybe don't want to be here. And she's like, what are you here for? And I'm like, oh, we're here for the USA Brazil game, so international soccer friendly tonight. But yeah, she. It looked so like she was very. Was, like while please. she was talking with us, or when we before she approached us, she was on the walkie-talkie. I don't know if she was like reading your plates, but then I turn around and I see a black, like kind of like a Lincoln SUV, yeah. tinted windows right behind your car. It looks like they were look, reading your plates, and I was waving at them. I said, "Hey, what's going on, guys?" And then they noticed me, and then they drove off. But it was very odd. Very, very odd, to say the least. But, I mean, that's breakfast with the Bilderbergs. The hotel is set. And we'll see what happens these next couple of days.